everybody y'all what's good beautiful people it's your girl tay and i'm here yet again with another update video so definitely make sure you guys smash that like button comment down below subscribe then push your post notification bell button so that way anytime i upload a video you will be notified so let me hurry up and get right into this news you guys let y'all know what's going on i want to check the internet to see if there was anything on there i don't think there was i think i gave y'all that tea yesterday and i was right so moving on to my usual news source let's see here let's see here okay please don't take forever please 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 i do be trying to have this set up but by the time i come to the video but even when i do that now because there's been so much updates and stuff going on by the time i get here it's gone with the wind again okay new some signs when did this come out? This was reported by Los Angeles Times. It says do some science state budget um, bills with gas refunds to 17.5 million California taxpayers. Just letting you guys know if there's any additional updates, which I don't think there is. It says these refunds varying from up to as little as $200 for individuals will go to a maximum of $1,050 for couples with children are the hallmark of the state's effort to return a portion of the anticipated 101.4 billion surplus back to Californians. The governor and lawmakers also invested heavily in K-12 public education, directed billions of dollars to secure enough power to keep the lights on during heat waves, and earmarked $47 billion for infrastructure projects over the next three years. Okay, This budget invests in our core values at a pivotal moment, safeguarding women's right to choose, expanding health care access to all, and supporting the most vulnerable among us while shoring up, future, shoring up our future with funds to combat the climate crisis, bolster our energy grid, transform our schools, and protect communities. This is coming from Newsom, in which he said this in a statement recently. The budget covers 2022 to 2023 fiscal year that begins Friday. I'm assuming this Friday. It's a period in which ec uh, economists warn that Russian evasion of Ukraine interest rates and inflation could weaken the U.S. economy and lead to a recession. That will surely dampen the record revenues California has received in recent years, largely from income taxes paid by its highest earners. Okay, The spending plan that Newsom and lawmakers approved features a $17 billion relief package to help families, seniors, low-income Californians, and small businesses. The package included $9.5 billion in gas refunds. That's the checks that we're going to be getting. $1.4 billion in utility payment assistance. So I highly suggest you guys apply for that if you need it, okay? Um, expanded tax credits. I wonder what that means. I guess we'll just have to wait and see when we go to file 2022 taxes. $250 million for paid sick leave grants. A suspension of sales tax on diesel fuel at a cost of $439 million to the state and $75 million in drought relief grants, okay? So I think Newsom is really really doing this thing don't y'all think there was something else that i wanted to read to you guys i'm not sure where it's at there was a um i saw an article about a specific prescription medication i think it was gabapitin i can't remember the details of it but i know i'm familiar with that my mother used to take it when she was alive i think it's like a nerve uh medication or something like that but all in all i think everybody just needs to be more diligent about their medication even if it's prescribed ask a lot of questions get a second third fourth opinion if you think you need to okay uh, a weekly dose of a diabetes medication appears to lead to significant weight loss in people with obesity and a development experiment ex experts have hailed as game changing obesity causes 1.2 million deaths in europe each year according to the world health organization and the uk has one of the worst obesity rates i thought that was the united states of america maybe i'm wrong let's talk about this medication though i don't even think this is over here give me one second y'all what is this this is not what i am trying to talk about today hold on y'all this i am so the cdc has activated an emergency operations unit for monkey pox now this was released by the guardian it says the centers for disease control and prevention has activated an emergency operations unit for monkey pox that signals the initial stages of a public health concern the emergency operations center the elc was activated on tuesday to boost operational support for addressing a monkey pox outbreak for reference the elc was activated for the current virus that we're dealing with okay in january of 2020 on the same day as the first virus case was detected in the u.s the elc activation is helping to further supplement the ongoing work of cdc staff to respond to this outbreak said scott Pauley, a press officer with the cdc 
Clinicians and public health departments already reach out to the CDC to report and investigate monkeypox cases, he added. There are currently 300 CDC staff members working on monkeypox with local and state level me medical personnel and the ELC is expected to enhance those measures. As of Monday, CDC recorded 306 cases of monkeypox across 28 states with the highest numbers in California and New York respectively. Currently, there are 66 cases in California, 63 in New York and 45 in Illinois. Okay, the other states for the most part have fewer than 10 cases reported. Epidemia, uh, I'm trying to say this slow epidemiologists okay epidemiologists i was gonna say it right the first time and health econ uh, economist dr eric fagel ding noted on tuesday that the expected number of monkeypox cases by august is 100,000 worldwide and urged the world health organization also known as who to take action so on Monday, the White House announced that the administration is allocating nearly 300,000 vaccine doses with an estimated 1.6 million doses available over the next few months. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just going to go back to what I've been saying since day one. All of this talk about we are in a recovery stage, we are finally getting things back to normal, and now you're activating all these different government um establishments or whatever to help out with what we're fighting now which is the monkeypox. so it doesn't really look like we're out of the woods yet i've been saying this from the beginning i don't think we're ever going to go back to what it was before the pandemic hit us i think that we can and i don't know for sure i'm not going to sit on here and talk to you guys like as if i am a specialist in any of these areas because i'm not and i've never claimed to be i'm not a doctor i'm not a physician i'm not any of those things so i am not qualified this is just my own opinion that i feel i have a right to say and I feel like we are not going to go back to the way things were. I think that all we can do moving forward, what I've been saying is be prepared. Make sure that you are doing everything that you can to keep your family in good standing. And whatever that means, if you want to stock up on water, toilet, tissue, paper, I'm not saying to go out there and, what's the word, fear buy. I forgot what the word is, but to go out there um, and buy in fear. Okay, let's not do that. What I'm basically saying is we were not prepared on a governmental level. We were not prepared, prepared as the civilians. We need to be prepared this time. Make sure that you have the things, even if it's as simple as making sure you have vitamin C in your house. Just make sure that you have what you need in your household to be able to get through whatever storm may be headed our way. Because I don't see us getting out of any of these situations anytime soon. Okay. There was something else. I feel like there were plenty articles that I had saved. And then, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm not sure what's going on. Target is canceling orders from suppliers, though, particularly from home goods and clothing. And it's slashing prices further to clear out a amassed inventory ahead of the critical fall and holiday shopping seasons. Now, this is reported by ABC 7 News. The actions announced Tuesday come after a pronounced spending shift by Americans from investments in their homes to money spent on experiences like travel and nights out for dinner and other pre-pandemic routines. Shoppers are also focusing more on non-discretionary items like groceries as inflation makes them more selective. That's a change that arrived much faster than major retailers had anticipated. So long story short, all of these major retailers, not all of them, we're going to just talk about Target have an overwhelming amount of inventory for certain items and they're noticing that people are not buying them so what they're going to do is make sales or do sales to get rid of this inventory and also slow down on their purchasing in order to re-up on these supplies. The speed at which Americans pivoted away from the pandemic spending was laid bare in the most recent quarterly financial filings from the number of major retailers. Target reported last month its profit for the fiscal first quarter tumbled 52% compared with the same period last year. Sales of big TVs and small kitchen appliances that Americans loaded up on during the pandemic have faded, leaving Target with a bloated inventory that is said must be marked down to sale now let me tell y'all something i said that i was going to try to cut back on my spending and i am really working on that because y'all know your girl is trying to move i'm trying to get out of here um it is time it's, it's more than time but with that being said i do love me some target and i do know love me some walmart i haven't heard anything in terms of walmart having a similar issue but since i go shopping in there literally every week i am noticing some things that wouldn't normally be on sale um have been on sale some things that i wouldn't even think that the store would have in store for inventory are on sale i saw a bench 
um, you know, like a park, the benches that you would see at a park where it has the two sides that you sit on and then the picnic table in the middle. I saw a small size of that for children, you know, like a little toddler size picnic table that was on sale. Okay, something I've never seen in my particular Walmart, not to say that they don't have it online, but I said all that to say that if there is a sale, if there is a really significant discount and markdowns at Walmart and Target or any of my favorite retailers, I, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to control myself. I just I just don't think that I'm gonna be able to. But anyways, you guys, moving on from that, let's end off with emergency snap maximum benefits for the month of August. See what we have here. I know you guys have been asking me about PEBT and I do have that information available. I will be recording that video later on today, hopefully to have it approved because You'll see when you see it. But anyways, emergency net maximum benefits for the month of August. We have Alabama, Alaska, California, Delaware, Colorado, D.C., Guam, Hawaii, Illinois, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Now, I don't believe that Guam was on the list yesterday, so I am going to give the payout dates for that particular uh, state. If you guys need the payout information and you missed yesterday's video, don't definitely don't hesitate to check that out because I did go over that information in that video, okay? Guam is going to be August the 19th. And that is it. As always, you guys, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys in at least a little bit. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that like button because it really does help to let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around. Let's drop some flowers. I just... I feel like I just need to see flowers. Flowers really make me happy. Just drop some flowers, any flowers down below. Let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video. Of course, if you have not subscribed to my beauty and lifestyle channel, I will leave the link for that down below in the description box, as well as a link for Amazon Prime, which you can try 30 days free on me. And as always, I'm going to say, remember to live, love, elevate, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all. Bye.